the time is low. I only need a couple more kills. I only need a couple of more kills. Pop you. Hip fire you. Where are the rest of them? Go to hell. All of you. Die. 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 Uh, wait, wait, wait. Does that count? That counts, right? What up guys, Destroyum is here. I'm back with another fresh commentary. Today we have kill confirm on outpost. And try and give y'all some tips, a little bit of tricks. Um well playing this map. Um if you spawn where we just spawn, go ahead and throw that grenade out because sometimes there's there's guys out of rush here. <clears throat> they don't do this in this session. They kind of hang back, so we rush them and pick them off. Um, check this corner, this alleyway right here, because this is where they'll they'll spawn from where we just spawned from and try to come through that building like that dude just did as he got shot. Um, there's a guy right here. He doesn't see me. I saw him, but I quickly just peg him a couple times. Let somebody else get him. Hopefully I get an assist. Um, when you're playing this map, there's plenty of sections that you should control. If you're not trying to run around, you just want to um, hold a certain part of the map down. Um, one of the easiest for me, for the team, is to hold and control the bunker. Um, we don't usually go into the hangar. Um, we peg them as they come out. Um, we shoot inside of it. Like we, I personally like to stay on the outside parts of the map and then shoot directly into the middle because noobs will always go into the middle. There's always going to be a couple people or maybe the whole team will always rush the middle because that's really where all the action is centered around so I like to tend to stay around the outside parts of the map so that way my back is not really I really I shouldn't get shot from the outside part of the map in my back sometimes that usually does happen and it's not like it's a gimmick like like staying on the outside part of the map would not always get you a Moab because if you're playing a good team they will stop you right dead in your tracks <clears throat> but for this whole game I stayed in this whole area until well no spoilers um I stayed in this one part of um, the bunker because that's really where most of the action will come to you um specialist and try to head glitch you have to learn how to head glitch even though you get frowned upon because your head glitch let me tell you something okay don't hate on a man because of how he strategize strategize his his game plan when on the battlefield you have to play this game smart you know you can't just run out there and expect to get a kill because if you rush the enemy too hard, you're going to get jumped. And I mean double teamed, triple twinged, or might even be four of them that shoot at you at one time. Um, where I just was is a great spot to watch that flank as they're coming down that hill. Because they will barely see you. It's unexpected for you to be up there. And they really won't pay you any attention when they first run down that hill because they're all going to run. So you can probably ping a couple of them, kill maybe two. Um, same thing goes for over there by the um, by the hangar. They're just going to rush out of it. They're not going to check. Look, see that guy, and he's going straight to the bunker. And I'm telling everybody right now, bunker, bunker, bunker. And Elmo, he goes to check it out. I tell him, look, don't take that kill. Let me have it. 
It's my kill and I need it now. Because I need that kill for for my mo grab. I have not gotten a mo ab on this map in underground. So I really need to step it up. I'm trying to get a mo ab on every map, including all the DLCs. Like um, the other day, I was playing. We was on foundation. I was kicking ass. I mean, it was enemies coming to me left and right, and I was I was whooping their ass. I tell you. And I get the mo grab, and I'm like, cool. You know, after tonight's sessions, I know we're not gonna play like 25 games because it's already like two o'clock in the morning. So I just, you know, when we're all finished, I'll back out, go to my theater, and get the game. When I get there, I kind of forget the map that I got a Moab on. So I really don't even know what map I'm looking for. I just know I went flawless. Like, I think it was like 40 and 0 or maybe like 33 and 0 or something like that. And I'm looking. I see a 40 and 0, but that's a Moab I got in, in Arcaden. Uh, that's not it. So I go to CallofDutyElite.com. Which is CallofDuty.com, I mean. And try to go to my recent matches to see like which map was and I was like yeah it was on foundation I go back to my vault that map is nowhere in there that whole game is nowhere in there, there was, I guess they must have said um never mind for you to have this map because I'm just you're just gonna slap you in the face and just delete it that was the first Moab I ever got on a DLC and they just took it away from me it was like they just don't love me anymore. So now I gotta get another Moab on another DLC so I can put it up here. Cause I was excited when I got it, you know. I love I love the map foundation, it's good. People like to camp. I love campers. I just seek you out. And they just deleted my whole game from me. Like it never existed. But we go back to the bunker here, and I know someone's coming because I see that skull. But I'm gonna let Drew take care of that as I drop shot him. He wasn't expecting me. Look, see, he came back, and I'm going to purposely leave a tag behind. Use it as a decoy. And right here, yes, I'm camping. I don't care. I'm trying to get this mo grab, and I'm not gonna let anything stand in my way. Um, we're back to some tips and tricks. Just an overall tip and trick: if you're playing kill confirm or just any type of game mode, when an enemy kills a teammate, you'll see a skull. And sometimes you don't even have to see the skull to know that an enemy just died there. You can kind of tell by what the character in the game is saying. You can tell by how they die. They'll make a certain like, uh, like a moaning sound. So all you have to do is just really pay attention. And that's what this game boils down to. It's like you just have to pay attention to what's going on on the battlefield. Pay attention to, to just to everything. And to some people that might be hard. But you just gotta learn how to do it if you want to be successful in this game. You gotta pay attention. Like if you see a skull pop up on your screen, that means a friendly is down. He is no longer in the game. He is dead. And that usually means that there is an enemy around that area. So what you should do is not rush that area, but just creep around it because eventually the enemy will come out and proceed to you. And then just take them out as that happens. But you know, I get the Moab now. I leave my area because Drew said he was on a on a little streak himself. So, so if I can't help him out, get his. Now was that a mo uh, no skill multi kill? I don't know, but anyway. Me and Dylan are going to, um, you know, go ahead and rush the, rush the enemy. Since time is running out, 
trying to help Drew get on his Moab streak and try to drop his Moab. So this can be a double. Um, ooh, two piece with the shotgun and the other dude. He was just I don't know I don't know what they thought they was about to accomplish. Uh, man. Drew just died from this guy camping. I don't know if he thought that he was safe. He wasn't watching his flanks. Um, like I said in my other videos, you have to watch your flanks. If you don't watch your flanks, you're going to get shot in the back of the head. You would be mad because you would be mad and 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 blaming other people for your mistake. But this is the end of the video. Uh, we won 4322. I don't care as long as we drop the Moab.